hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel and this is your February reading for 2022 from Anything Spiritual. Firstly I'd like to say a big thank you for all the likes and subscribes and the support that my channel receives. I'm always very grateful and in the description below I'll put a link to my sister's channel Mind's Eye and Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. Okay, this is the month of Valentine's Gemini, so at the end I will pull some love and relationship cards, but I always do do that, but I just thought with it being Valentine's, I will mention that because I know a lot of you love to hear about your relationships. Okay, I was asking what the month ahead holds for you, and the High Priestess card came out and the Ten of Swords. Well, the Ten of Swords, you can see a man laying on the ground, the swords are all in his back and he looks done, he looks over with. The pain, the hair, it's done. It's all over with. And the high priestess, she's sitting there and there's a, there's a blanket up behind her, which sometimes suggests that there could be something going on behind your back. So has someone, Gemini, done something behind your back which has caused you pain, okay? And if so, then it's almost like that is over with now and you're moving on from it. Okay, Gemini, let's have a look at what cards have come out so far. You've got the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Chariot, and the Three of Cups. So you've got a little bit of a mixed bag there, but interestingly enough, you've got two threes. Two threes are about advancing forward. They're about taking the next steps when you've made a decision. Now, we did just say that um, somebody quite possibly hurt you and that you were done with it. So if you're done with something, you're moving on, you're taking the next step. So interestingly enough, two threes have come out here in your reading. Now to start off with, we've got this Six of Pentacles. That's about give and take. That's about changes. Sixes are to do with stability. You want stability, okay? You, you're you here giving, taking, um, you know, people holding their money out, he's putting money in, he's got these coins here. So it may be that in order for stability this month, money has to exchange hands for you, okay, Gemini? So there's some sort of money exchanging hands in the month of February, but it is bringing you stability, okay? You do have those uh, those coins lined up there. You have saved for this. And um, it does seem that this needs to be done. This is a kind of a, you know, a give and take thing. You want something, so you've got to hand out for it. Now, looking at the next card, that's three of ones. We've already touched on that. We've already said three is an advancement. We know you're moving forward. We know someone possibly hurt you. You're looking ahead to your future now, Gemini. That's what you're concentrating on. You're not concentrating on the hurt. You're not concentrating on what happened in the past. You're making plans for your future. You've already decided what you're doing and you've already started going in that direction. And look what's next. The chariot. It's about movement. It's about what direction you're going in. And we're talking about direction. We're saying that you're moving forward. And here comes the chariot card. Just to confirm that. To confirm that forward movement. That forward direction. Perhaps you're still a bit to and fro in. Because these horses can go in either direction. So it could be that you have more than one possible direction to take. It could be that you're toying between two directions, but you are moving forward, Gemini. And the main thing in this reading is you're taking the next steps forward. And here we go again, the Three of Cups, another advancement card. And this is about um, getting together with like friends, family. It's about enjoying yourself, okay? So don't forget while all of this is going on to get out there and enjoy yourself, Gemini, because you do have the opportunity to meet up with friends. You do have that opportunity to get out there and socialize so as well as making all these plans for your future you do need to get out there and socialize gemini okay so don't turn those opportunities down when they come forward and let's pull a spellcaster tarot card and just clarify that top row and you've got the magician and look at him there looking into that um well there and we've got the the uh, energy all going in there. This is you, Gemini, putting your energy into what you're doing. You are the magician, you're making things happen. Everything that's happening now in your life, Gemini, is you making it happen, okay? You're the energy behind it because you are the magician. 
And here's the death card. That death card is confirming to you that something has ended. You've taken a transition. One door is closed and another door is open. And this is you going through that door, okay? Happier, enjoying yourself. You've got the sun card. When that card comes out, it tells you to go out there and have fun. We've already said that with the three of cups. So you're definitely moving on to a happier period in your life. Somebody hurt you, Gemini, okay? Somebody hurt you or something caused you pain. You know, it may be a situation, not necessarily something a particular person did, just a situation hurt you, caused you pain. You're moving on from it now and you're moving on to happier things. And here we go again, the two of swords. Interestingly enough, that's fell below the chariot. So again, another card indicating decision and the fact that she's blindfolded means that you're trying to stay impartial in this decision. You're struggling with this decision. So the fact that that falls under the chariot really shows that there are again two, two swords, two horses, two possible directions you could go in. Gemini, you may be worried about what you're losing, what you're leaving behind. With this five of cups there, you're concentrating on what's lost, but there are still things that you have to gain. There are still things there. Yes, you've lost something in your life, Gemini. You've lost something in your life which has hurt you. Could be a person, could be um, you know, a house, a job, could be some sort of situation, but something has hurt you, something has caused you pain, but you're moving on from that and you're moving on to happier times. Let's put another spell, uh, not spell cast, it's a light seer's tarot. So we'll pull another light seer's tarot and we will clarify that bottom row. I'm gonna have the one that came on top. And it's the Queen of Pentacles, and look at her. She looks quite confident. She looks quite stable. We said earlier on with that Six of Pentacles, you want stability. That's what you're trying to bring into your life. And this is the Earth sign. And um, the Earth um, star signs, they, they do like their stability. She's sitting there quite happy. She's always got her eyes closed because she's so confident. She can just sit there with her eyes shut. She's holding on to her money. She feels quite stable. That's what you want, Gemini. That's what you're aiming for, okay? You've had your sort of foundations rocked a bit. Whatever hurt you, upset you, knocked your stability a bit, but you're feeling happier. And as you're moving on to this new phase, you're feeling more settled. You're feeling more stable, which is a really good feeling to have for you, Gemini. Now we're just going to pull some guardian angel cards and then after, well we're going to pull one guardian angel card and see what your message is for February 2022 and then we're going to pull love and relationship cards. Now the guardian of abundance has come out for you. And it says, this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arrive in the near future. Make sure you accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. So, wow, Gemini, how lovely. These cards often confirm what we've said in the reading. We've already said that um, you're moving forward. We already said that you needed to, you know, enjoy yourself and get out there. And these things are mentioned in your guardian angel message. So it's lovely that that card has confirmed for you that you are moving forward in your life and opportunities are coming for you. Okay, let's pull some love and relationship cards and see what messages they have for your love and relationships for February 2022. And already one card has fell out for you, Gemini. And it says, let go of controlling issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, Gemini, so in your relationships, you do need to let go of control. You do need to relax. You do need to calm down. But obviously, you know, we, we know you've been through some sort of hurt. We know that you didn't feel sort of stable. So now it's telling you to just relax and allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I'm going to take a card off the top because another one wouldn't come out. And it's retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to, again, enjoy yourself. And where have we put that one? On the bottom row, where this message kept coming out for you about going out and enjoying yourself, Gemini, okay? So for those of you who are in a relationship, relax. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and have some time away together. Retreat, relax. 
sort of try and disconnect yourself from any problems that's going on around you, anything that's happened in the past, and enjoy the now, enjoy what's coming up for you, good things are coming. And for those of you who are single, again, it may be that you need to relax in relationships, relax, let can go of control issues, and things will come to you, okay? Perhaps you may meet someone if you go away, but retreat, disconnect, and who knows what will happen. Okay, Gemini, I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like and comment on the videos. My sister's um, link down below to her channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.